Hello, and welcome to our video describing how to use VPMN artifacts. In this example, we will use a previous built model of our invoicing process to present a few ways we like to use artifacts for business process models. The two artifacts we will discuss are the text annotation and group icon. A thing we like to do with text annotation is document additional details this is especially true when using modeling tools that are not automated. Some customers still use non-automated modeling tools, and so when that happens, text annotations can be valuable. For us, nothing is more important than capturing activity metrics or processing times. By using the text annotation, we can identify average completion times, processing times, and run times. Another great use for text annotation is capturing organizational knowledge of your subject matter experts. They hold a wealth of knowledge that when harnessed correctly can help achieve a competitive advantage. For this example, we will keep it simple and illustrate that during the interview with the subject matter expert, they indicated that the manual activity for evaluating invoices is done quicker by a competitor using an automated tool. We use the text annotation because it quickly enables us to look at opportunities or pain points of our process. The group icon is also great for adding context to our process. In this example, we indicate that three of our activities are completed on a restricted network. From a redesign or improvement perspective, it would be important to note that during the steps of a process when data transitioned between low and high side networks. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit the like button. If you are interested in learning more about BPMN and how you can apply BPMN to your organization's business process models, please subscribe to our channel as we routinely create new videos. Thanks again for joining us. Please leave a comment below and tell us how you use BPMN artifacts.